Well, I've got another Mad Scientist production today. You guys saw in my latest video that I had a uh, had a failed condenser fan motor on that York unit. It was an ECM motor. Here was the controller. On this unit, they actually mounted it separate with this wire here. So the module, even though it looks like it can mount right to the end of the motor, like some of them, this one was mounted up in the control panel. So I took apart the motor and here's what I found. So a lot of rust. This motor definitely needed some wheat poles, but the bearings were fine because these, these motors use really nice high-end bearings. So the problem was that the magnets on the rotor delaminated. But that got me thinking because this armature assembly looked just like one of the indoor ECM motors. I mean, I mean they're identical. See that, guys? So here's the rotor assembly. This one's actually got a little wheat pole. So here's the rotor assembly out of that one. So I'm going to see if I can make this work again. Oops, wrong way. So the rotor looks identical. And the windings tested out okay. I'm going to use the old backing plate here to find a couple. I found two two new bolts because these were really rotted away. Those are the two of the best, better ones. Let's see if we can get these lined up. I got this back in the plate cleaned up.
just got some thrust wash or something. So let's get this puppy lined up. Well guys, here she is in all her glory. Spins like a champ now. So I mean I don't know why I don't know why it wouldn't work. Unless the module is bad, and sometimes you can tell if the module is bad by as soon as you plug the motor in. You can't spin the shaft anymore. I don't I don't see a problem with it. So maybe you guys will see this motor in action one day. I don't know when. But find the right unit to try my cool little motor out on I'll do it <laughs> so we got on this motor it's just line one line two and then common and yellow so it starts with a yellow signal and ground of course so that's that here's the nasty old rotor the end plate with no wheat pole no wheat pole drilled. My end plate has a little wheat pole. This was the donor motor. It's off an indoor uh, ECM motor. And I would try it on my unit, but it's not a very good. It's not a very good uh, test mule because this was the 825 off 825 that's a 1075 and of course the reams use the side screws so I'd have to drill through my top and, and mess with it that way well thanks for watching another mad scientist production we'll see you later